Voilà. Oh, I'm just having a proper chill out day today because um feeling quite vibrant yesterday and energetic but then started questioning why I was feeling vibrant and energetic and I think it's a process that the brain goes through because you know you've got this disease and you know it's not gone away yet and you just feel like you should be feeling more unwell than what you are and so when you've got a little bit of energy you start to question why rather than accepting it um, if that makes sense to anybody I think it's a you know when you're on your own and, you, and you're suffering with cancer I think it's quite um, a big psychological issue that um, or is it just me because I'm nuts uh, <laughs> probably is to be honest but I just felt like um, I needed to share it with you. Um, it's, it's almost like I'm feeling guilty for feeling well, which is a bit weird, obviously, but um, I, can't, I can't not imagine any other cancer patient feeling the same. Uh, I just hope I'm not speaking out of turn with it. Uh, but, Anyway, I've got clinic this week, which I'm not looking forward to. I've got lots of questions that need answering, and uh, yeah, I'm worried about the answers. So yeah, yesterday was a, a full-on energetic day. Today I feel like I've got, I've still got a lot of energy um, left. Um, it's difficult to explain. I feel really unwell still I don't feel well but with that little bit of energy it makes you feel okay if that makes sense uh, you can feel really unwell with no energy at all like when you've got flu and your energy level drops and so you're unwell and your energy level drops so that makes you feel more unwell but if you if, if flu would give you a little bit of energy then you can be unwell with energy I'm not quite sure if that's making sense to be honest it makes sense to me but I'm not sure if I'm coming across as, as it all making sense uh, so I've got some helpers coming in to help me pack for my move so it's going to be all go for the next couple of weeks and I just hope that you know, I've had a lot of people say to me, oh, if you need help, you know, give me a call. If you need this, give me a call. If you need that, give me a call. Well, every time I seem to call people to ask for the help and obviously giving the notice, they're always busy. And I'm just apprehensive now about once I move home, that that's going to happen again, you know, I've never been one to ask for help and I think the biggest problem for me being in Cornwall is the fact that I have over these past couple of months been asking for help but you know people always obviously they've got their own lives I'm not depriving people not begrudging people of their own lives or anything like that but it's just those that say oh I'll do anything just let me know and then they don't when you ask so Kind of making me a bit apprehensive. I know I've got some fantastic friends. I really have, and I've neglected them. Seriously, neglected them. You know, I moved 300 miles away. It was a huge neglect. I have got some fantastic friends, and I can't imagine any of them saying, you know, oh no, I'm too busy. I'm too busy. You know, a lot of a lot of my friends will. They compromise on time and say, yes, I can do this, but it's got to be at this time. Do you know what I mean? And that. That makes all the difference. Um, so yeah, I'm just feeling unwell with energy and feeling guilty for it, and it's it's not a nice feeling to have. Um, cancer really does 
change the dynamics of absolutely everything you just you know you don't realize it until you've been in the situation either being the the victim of cancer or being or you know seeing somebody and being close to somebody who's who's suffering with it it changes your thought it changes you as a person i feel like i'm evolving into someone new um might be all in my head but I'm trying to maintain myself I'm trying to keep myself as myself but I just see these little changes thoughts that I wouldn't have ever thought before you know doing things slightly different to the way I used to do before um, my organization is just seems to be a lot better than before <laughs> Because <laughs> it was a bit of a mess. It's kind of a. <laughs> I don't know. It seems to. I'm more forgetful, but more organised. Uh, whereas before, I was less forgetful and. Um, oh, I don't know anyway. I need to go up to the toilet. Ugh. Um, not that I'm going to go to the toilet while I'm on, but anyway, um, yeah, so I hope, it, I hope that makes sense anyway, and I'll, uh, oh, I'll plug again soon. <laughs> I'm still recording. I've been nosy in the window. I've just seen my neighbour walk up the road. The neighbour that said that was busy to help me today, and uh, well, you know, they, they don't appear to be doing anything. But never mind. Well, I'm going to the toilet. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Why am I whispering? <laughs> See, it's just driving me nuts. <laughs> oh.